It's the race that stops the nation, with hundreds of thousands of people flocking to Flemington Racecourse each year, dressed to impress, donning some, well, pretty darn ridiculous hats, to be honest, to cheer on some pretty darn majestic horses. But it's one horse whose name you might have heard of once or twice that changed the name of the game for good. This is Farlap, and 90 years ago he won the Melbourne Cup and became the most famous horse in the whole world. While it's a bit of a funny name, Farlap actually comes from the Thai word for lightning, which definitely suits his speedy talents. Although he was often called the Red Terror, Bobby, or simply just Australia's Wonder Horse. <laughs> Original. After growing up in New Zealand, Farlap was bought by a trainer from Sydney, Harry Telford, back in 1928 for just 160 guineas. That's about $14,000 in today's money. And considering racehorses can go for hundreds of thousands of dollars these days, it was a real bargain. And he wasn't actually an obvious choice. But Harry and stable hand Tommy Woodcock saw his potential. In fact, Farlap and Tommy developed a pretty special bond. They travelled everywhere together and even slept and ate their meals together. Aw, best buds. While Farlap lost his first few races, it wasn't long before he started to rack up the wins. Over his career, he won. Oh, are you ready for this? The Rose Hill Guineas, the AJC Derby, the VRC Derby, the SAJC Kings Cup, the Chelmsford Stakes, the Kings Plate, the Melbourne Stakes, the Spring Stakes, and well, the list goes on and on. In fact, he won 37 of his 51 races. But it was his Melbourne Cup win in 1930 that made his popularity skyrocket. Farlap smashed the competition and won by three full lengths. He's a great horse. In fact, he's the best horse Australia's ever seen and I doubt if ever they'll see his equal. Farlap almost instantaneously became an Aussie icon in a time when things weren't so great for the average person. You see, at the time, people all over the world were battling through something called the Great Depression. It was an economic crisis that started after the US stock market crashed in 1929, and it meant a lot of people lost their jobs and were doing it tough. But Farlap's winning streak gave Aussies new hope and a sense of pride to see them through the difficult times. He was so good, his owners shipped him to North America to race, but it was here he'd run for the last time. In 1932, about a month after winning the Agua Caliente handicap in record time, which was the highest ever paying race in the continent, by the way, Farlap mysteriously died. Many suspected he'd been poisoned, perhaps by gangsters or rival horse owners, or perhaps by accident. And his death sent shockwaves across the world, and people were really upset and angry. But it was what they discovered after his death that scientists say could have been the key to his success. And maybe look away for this bit if you're squeamish. You see, Farlap's heart weighed in at 6.35 kilos. That's more than one and a half times bigger than a normal thoroughbred's heart. And to this day, you'll sometimes hear people say, Whoa, he's got a heart as big as Farlap's. So people all over the world will never forget the wonder from down under.